Hi, I'm Nick Heaney. And I'm Jules Heaney. And we're the Heaney Brothers. We're out on Lake Jessamine in Orlando, Florida at our Wakewood School, the Wake Experience. So we're going to go out on the water and teach our ever willing student, Matt, here a few things. We're going to get him out behind the X-Star Wake, teach him a few tricks and show you what it's all about. Let's do it. A couple of quick tips, especially if you're a beginner, intermediate rider behind an X-Star. We usually pull our beginners at about approximately 18 to 20 miles an hour, depending on body weight and size. That's because it keeps the wake nice and soft and the landers are a little bit more forgiving. Also, the rope length is a key factor. You hear people riding 80 feet, this and that. That's usually what we run on the Pro Tour. For the beginner, you'll find it a lot more forgiven and you'll progress a lot faster at a shorter rope. Don't be frightened to put the rope anywhere between you know, 55, 60 feet. You'll find the wakes are a little narrower and at the slower speed, you'll progress much faster. Today we got Matt. He's gonna be out riding with us. We're gonna teach him some heel side and toe side, wake to wake and we're going to push onto some grabs and hopefully get into some 180s. Ah. Matt, excellent. You've got a really strong carve into the wake. Now, when you get to the bottom of the wake, sometimes you have a tendency to stand up. Remember, that's the biggest misconception in wakeboarding, trying to pop with your legs, trying to jump off the wake. You only want to hold your carve all the way up the ramp. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Matt, that time, heel side, indie grab was perfect. You rode off the wake, you didn't try and pop, you just rode off the ramp, pushed the rope down, grabbed the board. Yep. On the toe side, 180, did you feel how you didn't quite clear the second wake? Yeah. It's because you were thinking about the 180 yep. rather than setting a real good toe side air first. Sure. Don't think of it as a 180, carve it the wake like it's a toe side wake to wake yep. on the way down turn, okay? That'll give you enough momentum to clear the wake instead of landing on top, all right? Yep. Okay, on that 180 there, did you see how um, you need to keep the two hands on the rope? Yeah. Okay, is it everybody's a tendency to let go with one hand, keep the two hands on the rope, sure. and then all you want to think about the 180 is carving into the wake, doing a toe side air, wake to wake, on the way down, moving the tail of the board to the boat, and transferring the handle onto the lead hip. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it shifts from one side to the other. Your body doesn't turn on the 180, it's just the board and the hips. Ah! All right, Matt, what we're doing here is we're actually doing the half cab 180. Now, half cab means whenever you cut into the wake switch and land forward, okay? When we're doing this 180, all we have to do is don't think of it as a 180. Think of it as a switch heel side wake to wake air, and on the way down, put the 180 in. Think of it, you're actually going to try and cut in and do a switch heel side weight to weight with the handle in a good spot, and then when you start to drop, let go with your right hand and land the 180, which is landing, landing back regular. Perfect! Okay, set a nice carve. That's it, that's it. Oh, perfect! Now what you've noticed is how smooth your tricks were Reason being, because you're not trying to pop off the wake, all you're trying to do is ride off the X-Star's ramp. Yeah. 
The, this wake is different to any other wake in the business because it's not steep. Right. You see how it's mellow? It's like a snowboard kicker or a motocross yeah. ramp. It's just one gradient all the way. So all you really want to do with your tricks is just keep that continual line off the wake. You're not trying to jump. You're not trying to get bucked. The really steep wakes tend to throw you off different every time. Well, that's why we've got this as a real smooth, mellow gradient shape, which tends for you to build your confidence rather than taking it away and be consistently the same every time you ride off the wake. Sure. All right, awesome. All right, I hope everyone had fun. We definitely did riding. We've got to thank Matt for being our student. And thanks to you guys for coming out and riding with us at Wake Experience. Until next time, we'll see you out there on the water.